All right, what's going on, guys? Graham Jesus and Matthews here with BleachReport.com. And ahead of this Sunday's A&E Biography WWE Legend Special, we're talking to the subject himself, WWE Hall of Famer, multi-time world champion, one of the best wrestlers around, Kurt Angle. Kurt, what's going on, man? Oh, nothing much, man. Just getting ready for this documentary to come out on Sunday. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited for it, too, and it's cool. You're coming off the Bella Twins. We had The Undertaker. We talked to Goldberg a couple weeks ago, and I told the same thing to Goldberg a few weeks ago, but it's cool that you're one of the subjects of this you know, this show coming up, and we had the first season last year. There really hasn't been, and I could be wrong, there really haven't been a ton of documentaries on you over the years. Like We had that 24 special a few years ago on the network, which was great, right. coming off your comeback, fantastic. Beyond that, though, there really hasn't been a ton of Kurt Angle documentaries. So just talk a little bit about what we can expect, and as far as how it kind of differs from other documentaries that have been done on you over the years. Well, I really hit on uh, a lot of things that I had to overcome. Uh, it's the documentary is about overcoming mm -hmm. obstacles, uh, overcoming my addiction, my injuries that I had, my sport, uh, death of close family members. Um, uh, it's really about redemption and, uh, turning my life around and being a good husband, father, and role model. That's awesome. And I mean, we've heard a lot about that from you over the years. I know you talk about it in your podcast and stuff like that. Talk about the last couple of years for you. You've been retired from the ring since 35. I was there in New York for the final match. It was a great send off for you. We've seen you made a couple appearances over the years, but how have you been doing lately? I know you had surgery recently. Yes, I had knee surgery, double knee replacements. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did it about two months ago. Uh, I will tell you this for the first three weeks, I regretted it. <laughs> <laughs> But after about four or five weeks, I started coming out of it. I'm glad I had it done. Uh, I definitely needed it done. Both my knees were shot. Um, and this was a great, great idea. Um, the doctor that did it, Dr. Thomas, incredible doctor. He did an excellent job, and my knees are doing really well. I'd imagine I'll be able to go full tilt in about three months. Awesome. It usually takes nine months. It's probably only going to take me five months. Oh, that's so, fantastic. Are you spending the summer doing anything fun or just kind of rehabbing from the surgery recently? <laughs> Actually, uh, my wife and I went on our honeymoon. Okay? Nice. It was 10 years ago that we got married, and we finally went on a honeymoon. <laughs> and and we and a 10-year anniversary. So our anniversary was July 20th. We went to the Bahamas for a week. It was incredible. The weather, the resort was awesome. The food was great. We did a lot of activities, parasailing. Uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. I got to spend some quality time with my wife alone, which we never get to be alone mm -hmm. over here because I have six kids. <laughs> So uh, it was good to be alone with her for, for a week. That's fantastic. Congrats on the anniversary. Congrats on finally going on the honeymoon. And, and you mentioned that it's been <laughs> 10 years. And with the Bahamas, was it the heat wave that you guys went? Or was this recently? Or was this a couple of weeks ago? Uh, it was uh, just last week. It was in the 90s. It was pretty <laughs> hot. Uh, very humid. Uh, but we got used to it. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, going down to the beach. Uh, the beach is a little more, you know, the, it's a little less... Um, uh, hot. Um, it's a little cooler at the beach because of the wind blowing. Mm -hmm. You know the the wind that comes off the off the current, and uh, so that was better. But the pool was really hot. It was pretty miserable up there. <laughs> oh, sure. Oh my God. Here in Connecticut, it was just terrible as far as the heat goes. But that's great to hear. And you know, you talk about your knee surgery, and and it's cool too, just seeing you active lately, not in person on the shows. But we saw you make an appearance last night in video form for Rey Mysterio's 20 year anniversary. Obviously, a lot of history yeah. there. You know, having the match at SummerSlam 20 years ago. We saw you in video yeah. form for the for the John Cena tribute a couple of weeks ago, the anniversary, which was fantastic. And, and there was talk earlier this year of being involved in the Alpha Academy stuff on Raw. I feel like we're seeing more of you now in these various forms in your podcast, too, than you were when you were active a few years ago. It's really cool to see. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, they approach me every so often to have me do some stuff. Um, I don't mind doing that stuff. Uh, that, that's why I keep my um, – I don't commit to any one company. Mm -hmm. I just uh, – I do uh, things uh, for WWE when they need me to. Um, I like to keep my um, options open. Uh, so uh, I don't sign entirely like, a, you know, uh, where I commit fully to a company. Yeah. I'm just doing my own thing and doing my podcast. I have my supplement company. And uh, I've been taking acting classes. I want to start acting pretty soon here. That's awesome. Is there any one role that you're looking to land or anything? Just kind of anything in general? <laughs> I would love to land a Marvel role. Oh. Oh really? What's your favorite Marvel movie? Any any Marvel movies you look you specifically follow? Oh gosh, you know what? I, I love all of them, but um, my favorite one would have to be um, uh, uh, Doctor Strange. I actually really? love that guy. Awesome. Do you? So I, mean, I assume you caught the most recent sequel. Yes, I did. It was incredible. Yes. Oh. 
Great movie, Multiverse of Madness. That's fantastic. I did not, yes. I did not imagine you was a Marvel guy, but that's actually really cool to hear. I would think you would well, say you Captain America. My, my, my wife is, and she made me a Marvel fan. <laughs> my wife loves Marvel. <laughs> that's fantastic. And that's kind of a guy thing, right? But she yeah, loves yeah. it, and uh, you know, it was really cool. That I was like, man, my wife is cool. You know, we're watching <laughs> Marvel. We watched all the Marvel movies. We watched them in order too. Oh my god, that's a lot yeah, of time. We started with uh, Iron Man and went down the list to we're. we're we're like we watched almost every one of them already. Oh, that's and, awesome! And the, and the episodes, the TV show. Yeah, and there's a lot of them too. That that takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. So the fact that you did that <laughs> yeah. is fantastic. That's a great way to spend the rehab process. That's really cool to hear. And that's it, what we did. Yes. Oh, that's awesome! And you got that between the Bahamas. I'm I'm jealous right now. That sounds like a really fun time. <laughs> you talk about the movie and you talk about or acting and doing acting classes, which is great. I know you mentioned this a while ago. Got to give a shout out to a guy, the Solomon He's a big fan of yours. He wanted me to ask about this. You mentioned if there was ever a movie about you that you would want Chad Gable to play you. Is that correct? Yes, yes. I love the kid. He's got a lot of charisma. It reminds me of myself. Um, if I had to pick anyone to do my movie, it would definitely be Chad. He was also an Olympian in wrestling. Of course, exactly. And he's fantastic. We see him every week on Raw nowadays. Has there been any serious discussions? We're seeing this you know, documentary for you on Sunday. Has there been any serious discussions as far as from what you know, either from WWE or whatever, about a Kurt Angle movie? And regardless of whether it plays you or not, but any discussions on that front? Any update on that? Not at this particular time. I've been pushing for it. Um, I will continue to push for it. I thought my documentary was done really well. I think it's an excellent documentary. And I think that anybody could turn this into a movie. I'm going to keep looking and make, and hopefully uh, one day soon I'll, I'll find somebody that will do it. It would be really cool to see. I mean, obviously, we're going to see a lot about your life in this upcoming doc. To see it portrayed in a biopic would be just as fantastic. In addition to being in a Marvel movie, as you mentioned, which would be a lot of fun as well. And you, you <laughs> yes. talked about that being your dream role. And as far as like just on TV stuff, I know you're done in the ring. You've talked about that a lot. Uh, you know, we almost saw you involved in the Alpha Academy stuff earlier this year with RK Bro. I know you've talked about that as well. If you were to come back for one more role, whether it be a regular or a one off or whatever, and this is also from uh, Solomon as well, he was very curious, and this was a great question. Is there any dream role that you have on WWE TV that you would like to come back for, whether it be being a GM again or a manager for, for someone like Chad Gable? Anything along those lines? Yeah, I would love to manage Chad Gable and uh, Otis. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I, I would have absolutely loved um, uh, managing Jason Jordan and Chad Gable. Mm -hmm. I thought that those guys would be the new team angle, and I was pushing for that before Jason got injured. But, um, you know, Otis actually took Ch uh, Jason's place. Yep. But I would love to manage those guys. Though They both have a lot of potential. Otis is a big, you know, burly guy, but he knows how to work. He's mm. really good. And Chad is really talented. That kid has all the tools necessary to be one of the best. Oh, so great. And he had one of your final matches on Raw a couple of years ago before he retired, which was a lot of fun to see as well. And we got to see you guys on table for three even earlier this year. So it kind of goes full circle to see that interaction, which was great. And uh, that was the last time we saw you as a regular on TV when you were running down your career, going into WrestleMania. And as someone that was involved with the most recent product as recently as 2019 as a regular, you came back for the one last run. You were involved with the GM role, which was great to see as a longtime fan such as myself. Uh, just thoughts on what's everything going on right now. We got the new head of creative triple h and you know a lot of fans are excited i'm sure the talent's excited it's just changed you have a very close relationship with vince you've talked about it before i know you talked about it on twitter and stuff like that just want to get your thoughts and reaction to everything going on right now and the optimism regarding the creative future of the company uh well they're making adjustments mm -hmm. uh it is sad to see vince gone um he's what made the wwe tick he always was the guy. He will continue to be the guy, regardless of whether he's there or not. Um, I, I, I'm not worried about the company. I'm, I am a little bit concerned that Vince isn't going to be there. Mm -hmm. But I, I have all the faith in the world that Stephanie and Triple H uh, are going to be able to carry that company. And I honestly believe, and I don't know if I should say this or not, but I think that Vince is going to be behind the scenes. <laughs> you think <laughs> really so in some form or fashion? I don't think he's ever going to let go of the product product he will send messages to triple h and stephanie <laughs> and make sure that he's involved no doubt about it i, I believe that in my mind what was the last conversation you had with vince whether it was in person over text or whatever you know what i text him uh five days ago awesome because you know when he when he decided to retire mm -hmm. and i said i just said love you vince mm -hmm. and I, I didn't want to go into detail of what happened yeah, this yeah. and that and, and he said i love you too and and that's all that's all we said to each other 
And, uh, you know, Vince has always been kind of a father figure to me. Uh, we did have a falling out in 2006, mm -hmm. uh, but we mended that in 2017. And I love the guy to death. He's, he's such a great individual. Uh, we all make mistakes as human beings. And uh, Vince is no different, but he's an excellent individual. Mm -hmm. And I know we'll be hearing all about your career. And, you know, you mentioned leaving WWE in 06 and whatever. And as we wind down here, Kurt, talking to this documentary to wrap up here, what more are you excited for fans to see from this thing? And what more you want to do going forward? You talked about acting and just being busy. Like I said, we've been seeing you everywhere lately. You made an appearance for even Impact a while ago, which was crazy. Um, yeah. You know, over, over the video, which was great. Talk a little bit about just what's next for you in this documentary and just life in general, which was great. Well, you know what? This documentary is about, you know, good things happening to you and bad things happening to you. And, you know, things that occur in your life, it's really what you, how you respond to them, how you overcome them. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're when you're high on your horse and you're doing really well, there's no complaints. But when you're down in the gutter, um, it's really hard to get out of it. And I know that personally, but it's possible. Anybody can get out of the gutter if they want to. They just have to believe. Fantastic. And last thing for you kurt where can we find your supplement and where can we check it out go to physicallyfit.com we have a product called snack smart crispy protein bites and chicken snacks crispy protein bites um, one's made of chicken the other one's organic plant protein incredible flavors 11 flavors they're high protein low carbohydrate the company's doing extremely well right now we're really picking up accounts mm -hmm. it's starting to uh you know it's starting to run really well and uh i'm really proud of the progress we've made the past year Awesome. Well, congrats on all the success, Kurt. Like I said, awesome to see you killing it right now. See your foot kind of dipped into various different things, whether it's wrestling related or not. You're all over the place. Like I said, you were in CT the other day at an indie show, which was great to see. But Kurt, before then, though, before anything, you got the documentary coming up on Sunday, a and &E, WWE Legends Biography. Uh, it's a two-hour special. Fantastic stuff. Kurt, thanks so much for the time. This has been an honor, and I look forward to talking again in the future. Thank you, Graham. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Kurt. Have a great day. You too.